All right, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube citizens, y'all know who this is. This is your boy, True Funnel, and I'm in Dearborn still, but I am at one of the more famous spots in Dearborn, or not famous, but well-known spots in Dearborn. Behind me is the rec center. Behind the camera is the police station. Behind the police station is the library, and on the side of the rec center is King Bourne Field. So, across the way, there's some type of firefighter show for the kids. But I'm here because, speaking of fire, I'm here because I heard of a very interesting rumor on Discord that this is still a growlup nest. So I'm like, but wait a minute, how is that possible? That's supposed to change this past Wednesday. So speaking of which, today's date is Friday, September the 8th. The nest migration took place this past Wednesday, Thursday, whichever date you want to go by, whatever. So I'm here to see if it's still a growlup nest. Now, on the screen right now, over there, there's a growler right here. There was two here, but one of them despawned. So we're about to catch this one real quick. And all I'm going to do is take a lap around the rec center. Just one lap. Oh, this is a weak one, so this is going to be easy to catch. So I'm just going to take one lap around the rec center, see if it's still a growler nest. If it is, then there you go. If not, then I can report what it really is. So as soon as I catch this thing, and I just did, we are on our way off on this adventure. So yeah, let's go. So I'm walking around and not that far from where I started off, we got another growler right here. So let's click on that real quick and let's capture this bad boy. So 320, we're going to use a great ball and a ras. There's a bunch of kids ahead of me screaming like maniacs. Nice throw. This should be a catch right here. All right. Okay. Got it. All right. So we're going to keep it moving. So I'm walking, but now I'm stopping because there's two growlers right here. So let's catch the one to the left first. And I gotta do this like this. Let me turn this way, much better. Wow, 642. Great throw as he was shaking, shaking his head right there. Let's see if I got it. One, two, simple, easy, got it. All right, so there's one more and we about to catch it real quick. And they got soccer practice up ahead as well. So we're gonna skip that and then we're just gonna go here. Now I did look at this, what is it called? Nearby, yeah, nearby list. There was four growlups, all of them at Pokestops. And I think they were all at different Pokestops. So it looking like that this is once again a growlups nest. But yeah, let's catch this one real quick. Nice throw hit underneath his neck. Let's see if I got it. More like I do. There's one, two, and three, caught it. So we're gonna keep it moving, get some Pokestops and catch some more growlers to confirm that this is indeed a growlum nest. So yeah, let's keep it moving. All right, so I'm near the soccer field, really close to the soccer net rather, and we got a, wow, this one's 824. All right, nice throw. Let's see if I got it. One, two, got it. So we're gonna continue to lap around, but it's looking like this is once again a growlum nest for the second straight time. So yeah, stay tuned. Alright, so I walked around that baseball field and we got another growler right here. CP of 12. So this is going to be an easy catch. Hit it right between the eyes. Great throw. Let's see if I got it. One, if I got it, really? Two and three. Caught another growler. So I can either walk around the soccer field or go that way towards the playground in the parking lot. I'm going to walk down the soccer field because there's another one down there at the Pokestop. So, yeah, let's keep it going. Alright, so I'm near the playground, which is that array. Parking lot's right behind me, and here's another growl up in this area that was just about to despawn. It was in that two minute warning zone. 373, we're gonna use a regular res. And, should we? No, we ain't gonna use that. Let's use a great ball. 
right we're gonna try this one more time this one pops out i'm using the ultra ball because this makes no sense now this is a great throw all right let's see if i got this one i should get this one one two there we go caught another growlith so i had to say this is still a growlith nest so that's pretty interesting there now behind me is a level five ray egg rather and Thank somebody to close that door hard. But anywho, yeah, that's what they're doing now. They're doing these eggs. They brought the eggs back, and they're basically saying you have an hour or so to get to these rays and, you know, coordinate these rays, things of that nature. Because once the rays are in effect, you have an hour to do the raid and catch your Pokemon or whatever, or at least do the raid, rather. So it's not two hours no more. It's just one hour. It's kind of stupid, but that's how it is nowadays. So, yeah, we're going to complete our lap around the rec center. So, yeah, man, let's go. Where did I put the camp? Oh, right here. So, walking towards this mystic gym, and I'm about to take it over real quick, but along the way, we got another Growlithe. So yeah, let's capture this thing real quick. Pokemon are just popping up all over the place, but all of them are crappy. So this is a 280, so we're gonna use a great ball. And, yeah, just a great, oh, that was a terrible throw. <laughs> all right, and nice throw hit on his left ear. Let's see if I got it. One. Two. There you go. I was about to say, I thought I didn't get that first, but I guess there's a little lag there. So, yeah, call another growler. We're going to keep it moving that array. Alright, so I'm at the gym. I don't know who did it, but somebody defeated this gym real quick and it's now a valid gym. I already put my Pokemon in here, as you can clearly see. So whoever took it down put a Jinx in here and it big can load up for me. I can actually show you everything. There we go. So somebody put a Jinx in here. So whoever is good the nickname, thank you for that. And as you can see, I put in my cloister in here so we could get like an ice theme going in here so I don't have to take down the gym so that saves some time here and there's no growlips around here so we're gonna keep it moving see if we can find some more as we nearly completed our lap so yeah man stay tuned before we complete the lap there's another growlip right here so we're gonna capture this thing real quick let's see what CP this one is 423. Okay, so we're gonna go with a ultra ball. Actually, I hit his right eye or left eye right there, but missed the accident. Great throw. Let's see if I got it. Finally, I caught this growler. This mug was popping out after the first roll. So yeah, man, we're gonna keep it moving as I'm walking towards the sun now. All right, man, stay tuned. So we made it back to the starting point. And look at this, there's another Growlithe right here. So we're gonna capture it, but I'll give you guys my final thoughts on this nest. So this is clearly, clearly a Growlithe nest. So let me capture this thing real quick. With a great ball, got a nice throw. So it's pretty obvious that this is a Growlithe nest for the second straight time. That's pretty crazy. I never heard of anything like that before. So that's the main reason why I wanna cover this and do a video here because this is the first time I ever witnessed or even heard of a nest that migrated, but it's still the same nest. You know, aside from the starters, you know, when the game first came out, you know, Lafayette Park was a Bulbasaur nest for the longest. By San Diego Park was a Squirtle nest for the longest. And somewhere out in Canton, I forgot what it is, the Canton Ice Arena or whatever, that area, was a Charmander nest for the longest. So, aside from that, this is the first time that a nest migrated, but didn't change. So it makes you wonder what's gonna happen two weeks from now. Will it change? So if it don't, if this is a growling nest, I won't complain a lot or right away, but as I caught this growler, but you know, as times goes on, if it's still a growling nest like 
two months down the road, then yeah, I'm going to be annoyed by that a little bit. So let's look at and see how many of these growlips did I catch. So I transferred none of them, by the way, I believe. I might have. So let's play it safe and go through the journal. So I caught 10 growlips and we started at basically 542. It hadn't really been an hour yet and I caught 10 growlips. So this is a pretty good nest. This is a really good nest. Wherever spawning at the rec center in Dearborn is always a really good nest. And we didn't even explore all of the nests because there's some that pop up at the police station area over there. But they're doing a show over there, so I ain't gonna go over there and mess with the police or anything like that. So, with all that out the way, as I'm hearing sirens, that's not a part of the show. I'm gonna call it a wrap right here, man. Y'all know who this is. This is the new Jay Gatsby, aka the new Stephen A. Smith, saying peace out, y'all, and I'll see y'all next time. Yeah.